there's two ways to get clients from social media. So in this video today, I'm gonna to break down what they are, some of the pros and the cons to help you get clients right now. Hey, Lee Constantin here, founder of Personal Trains Elite, helping personal trainers attract high-end clients and grow their income with online marketing. And in this video here today, I'm gonna to break down the two ways to get clients from social media. And if when I go back to my 21 year old self, nine years ago when I started in the fitness industry as a personal trainer, I wasn't really aware of the different things that you can do using social media to get clients. But as the years have gone on, it's become more prevalent that there are real strategies right now that are working today to get clients from social media. And if you aren't doing at least one of these, you are missing out on dozens and dozens of opportunities to get clients. So I'm gonna break down the two ways to help you understand what they are so you can decide the best way for you right now based on your situation to get clients. So the first way to get clients is using something called free traffic. Okay, so traffic is a marketing term that pretty much means getting people to go to your website, your funnel, your booking page, wherever it is you're sending them to, okay? So if you see the word traffic, we're not talking about cars in the road, we're talking about sending people to a place, all right? So the very first way we can do that is with free traffic. So what this means is um, using content as your driving force to get clients. So you would typically need lots of content if you're going to be using this style to get clients. So that means you're posting a lot of content and getting the attention of people through a content strategy. And back in 2015, 2014, I was very much in this mindset that this was the only way to get clients. And so I posted on Instagram every day. I was doing stories on Snapchat back then and on Instagram eventually. And then I started posting videos on YouTube, posting on Facebook. So I was doing a lot of content, okay? Lots and lots of content because essentially what you're doing here is you are getting free traffic. So you're not having to pay for it or anything, but you're having to invest your time. Okay, you're having to put time into coming up with ideas for content. You're coming up, coming up with ideas for videos, what you're gonna shoot, you're gonna have to edit them, coming up with the right language to post, right? So it's all about content. It's all about getting your content across multiple platforms, getting in front of lots of people to try and get people off the platform and into your world, into your funnel, into your calendar, whatever it is you're sending them to. Okay, so it's very much all about content. So if you're great at pumping out lots of content, then this strategy is great for you because what it means is you can get in front of lots of people on different platforms and you don't even have to pay for it. Okay, so that's one of the things that um, allow you to get free traffic from social media. Part of this strategy as well, it's about long term. Okay, this isn't a quick fix, um, get clients, post one thing up, get clients tomorrow. This is about long term commitment. Okay, you have to be really committed to your posting and consistently posting daily, weekly, and not have an attachment to the outcome. And this is probably the most dangerous thing you can do where you are posting content because you really need clients right now. And if you're doing that, you're going to get very frustrated very quickly and you're not going to enjoy this and you probably end up stopping after a couple of weeks. So you have to be thinking long term and so you really need to have patience, right? There's people out there who have huge followings on YouTube and Instagram and some of these people have been doing this for five, six, seven, up to 10 years. All right, so just think if you were starting out and you were starting to post content, try not to look at people who have been doing this for a decade and compare yourself because it's gonna be the quickest route to stopping you from committing to this. So you have to think long-term, this isn't a quick money grab opportunity type thing. You have to be committed to posting content and not stopping because you didn't get clients. It's all about the long-term game here. And if you are committing to that, be aware that you have to do it without an attachment to getting something from it. Okay, and this is something that I had to learn early on when I was posting content. And at one point I was in a bit of a desperate place of needing clients. And I started writing things and posting in a way that showed that I needed something from people. And 
instantly I started losing followers, I didn't get any sales, and I was just in a bad mindset. And so you have to have the mindset that I'm not posting because I need something from these people, but I'm doing it because eventually, maybe three months, four months, six months, it might take a year, I'm hoping that someone will contact me or reach out or become a client. Because sometimes it can take a little bit of time for that to happen. And I've had clients who have come on board with me after following me for five years, right? They've seen my content, they've interacted with me, they've commented, they've liked my stuff, and it's taken them five years to become a client, okay? And so you can't rush the process of getting people to know, like, and trust you. It takes time, it takes patience, but you have to believe that eventually it'll be worth it. And so that is one of the things about this strategy, because it's free, you can't do things quickly. You have to be more patient and see the long-term vision of posting consistently and building those relationships with people so that eventually, one day, they will become a client. So part of this is it's slow to get results. Okay, as I said, you need patience. You can't be doing it because you need clients tomorrow or this week because you're gonna be homeless. You have to be thinking that this is a long-term strategy. So it's going to be slow to get results. And a lot of people won't tell you this. They'll tell you that this is the way to get clients fast and you can just go and DM people and they'll become a client. No, you have to build a relationship. You have to build community. And so it is going to be slow. So naturally, if you're going to use the free content, uh, free traffic strategy, you have to be thinking of it as a side thing to your main thing. It can't be the be one end all. You can't be doing this because I need this to work today. You have to be thinking slow and steady wins the race and thinking the long term. The people that you might follow who have thousands of or even millions of followers or, or subscribers to their channel, they've been doing this for a long time. And when they started out, they didn't do it because they needed clients. They did it because they were passionate about it. So you really have to approach content creation and posting on social media as something that you are passionate about, more of a vocation and something that you do on the side of maybe training your clients and doing your day-to-day -day work, right? So you have to be thinking long-term and it is a slower strategy to get results, right? Because you are posting content that goes out into social media and the way the algorithms have changed now over the past few years is you get less visibility to even the people that follow you. Right? There's a lot less reach on your post and you might start seeing that less people are liking your stuff or subscribing to your channels or following you because the social media platforms are trying to encourage more people to do more paid strategies, which I'll talk about in a while, to get people to see your stuff. And so because you're not getting your stuff seen by as many people anymore, it's going to take a little bit more patience and longer term thinking to eventually get results. So, okay, so you don't wanna to have too much attachment to the outcome of I need clients right now, but really be thinking about this as like an extra strategy that's gonna serve you long-term and one day when eventually your content gets reached by more people and they can become clients, all right? So be patient, don't rush this, and don't do it because you need something today. Think for tomorrow, next year, the following year, because that's what you're really focusing on if you're focusing on posting content to get clients. The other thing is that it's really hard to measure the success. Right now, you've got things like Instagram analytics now, YouTube studios have analytics, and you can see some things on your page on Facebook, but it's really hard to measure the success of posting content and directly correlating it to getting clients, okay? Because the thing is you can post something today and someone that likes it today might become a client in six months from now or a year from now. So you can't really trace it back to exactly when they came into your world, when they followed you, when they subscribed, to when they become a client. So it's really hard to understand what's working and what's not. And you can use analytics to see who liked most the posts that you post on social media, to see the videos that people like the most, but it's really hard to correlate that directly to getting a client signing up with you, okay? And so you want to use them to help you understand what, what content to post more of and what to post less of. But ultimately, it's really hard to directly correlate the results of someone becoming a client based on what you've posted. Okay, so just keep that in mind that when you are posting, you're looking for trends in maybe what people are liking and what people are interacting with or commenting with on. 
but it's harder to know exactly what to do more of to get clients because that could take three, four, five, you know, six months or even a year, or like me, even five years in some cases. And so you gotta just be st staying on top of your analytics, seeing what people are liking and do more of that stuff so you can bring new people into your world, okay? So some of the ways of creating free traffic, that is free people from social media, sending them to your sites, your funnels, your calendar pages, wherever you're sending them to, are Facebook groups. So a great way right now is to create a community of people. And this is really powerful because what you're doing is you're bringing people into your world and you're gonna facilitate a group of people, giving them tips, advice, lots of value, and making them feel part of something. And the way the world is right now, people are really looking for little pockets of places where they can identify with and where they can feel a sense of belonging. So just think if you are wanting to create a community, think about the type of people that you wanna bring in and really how you can serve them so that eventually when they are ready, they can become a client. So really powerful way right now with social media is to create a Facebook group, but there's also other places to create communities. You have Instagram as well. Now, Instagram is more of a um, you know, instantaneous feed where people are scrolling, liking, double tapping, sometimes leaving comments, but what you'll discover with Instagram is it's less of a community and more kind of instant, instant kind of response time to things because people are scrolling, right? They're not in a closed group but it's really easy to build up Instagram with things like hashtags and, and you know, tagging locations and posting up good content. So it gets you followers easier than it gets people into groups. And so it's easier to get people onto your Instagram, but it doesn't build that same community, but it is free, okay? So if you're posting content, you're going onto the hashtags on explore page, interacting with other people's content, liking, commenting, being a part of the Instagram community, then you can build your Instagram that way. And so this free, it just means you have to trade more time. You have to invest a few hours a day to doing this, otherwise you're gonna lose the momentum. And that's something that the platforms are really wanting right now. They're wanting people to be um, committing to the platform, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, and being a part of the community, not just posting content, but actually interacting as a real person with other people, liking stuff, commenting, and so you really wanna be blocking out a few hours in your day to be doing this if you wanna be generating free traffic back to your sales funnels, your websites, or your calendars, wherever you're sending them to. And then the third one is YouTube, actually creating um, workout videos, workout tips videos like this where you're educating people. Things like this can also help you get free traffic and when you use the right tags and keywords in the videos, good thumbnails, you can also get people who are searching for words, searching for terms, coming to your channel, liking your stuff and interacting and you know, maybe eventually becoming a client. So it is more of a longer term strategy. It takes time to set this kind of thing up, lights, cameras, being able to edit and you know, chop things out that you don't like in the video or things that you like and add them in. So just think that anything related to um, free traffic is more of a time commitment, okay? So you have to be committed to working on the content, creating communities, and think long-term with this type of strategy. Okay, so the second strategy to get clients from social media is using paid traffic. Okay, so this means you are essentially paying the platforms to bring you people, bring you interested prospects, leads, and eventually turn them into clients. So yeah, there is a cost involved. It does cost money. Now, there's a lot of people who say, oh, it costs thousands of pounds to, to run ads and you're gonna go bankrupt doing it. But really, it's it's kind of like, how long is a piece of string? And you know, it depends, right? It depends how much you wanna put into the platform to determine how much you wanna get back. You can spend as little as one pound a day, one dollar a day, you can spend 10,000 a day. What really matters is how you are running these ads so you can actually get the right types of people. And I've got video ads running right now on Facebook and on Instagram for just one pound a day and they're reaching thousands of people. So the question is not just how much should I spend on it, it's more what should I spend this money on so that it works for me. So again, you don't have to spend thousands of pounds on it, you just have to spend money in the right places so you can reach those audience. And the great thing about pay traffic and I don't think I added it on here, it's really targeted. You can actually target specific types of people, demographic, age, location, so that you can actually get, the pe get in front of the people that you wanna get in front of. And so what that means is you can get faster results. 
because you can get in front of really specific types of people, you can get results back quicker. Now results might be leads, results might be um, likes, results might be comments, results might be messages, results might be clients, but ultimately you can get them a lot quicker because you are now asking the social media platform to go out and find people who fit this criteria, show them this post, this message, this video, and bring them to me. And because it's so fast, you don't have to have lots of content. You just need one or two really good pieces that are going to resonate with your ideal clients and bring them into your world. So something that you will see with paid traffic is you get this hockey stick success. So you put a bit of money in and what you can see if you run the ads properly is you can see this hockey stick success where you can really cross the line of where you've put money in and, and see massive success. And what that means is you can put one dollar in, one pound in, and make two or three back once you have a sales process in place to turn these leads and people into clients. So it's really scalable. It really means you can get fast results. You can see your money working for you because you actually have a process on the other side of collecting the leads, collecting the, the traffic, and doing something with them, which is converting them through a consultation into a client. And so, you can see massively quick success um, with using paid traffic because you are controlling that budget, right? You wanna put one pound in, cool. You wanna put two pound, you wanna put $10. Whatever you wanna put in, it's going to be able to be measured and it means you can actually track the success of your results a lot easier than relying on free traffic. So you can actually see exactly which ad, which image, which video, exactly how this person became a lead so that you can do more of the stuff that's working and less of the stuff that isn't. And when you do more of the stuff that's working, you can actually start really scaling, reaching thousands of people and getting more success back. And so when I really um, went into paid traffic, I was a bit nervous at the start. I was worried that I was gonna lose a bunch of money. Um, I did at the beginning. In 2015, I ran a, an ad for an ebook and I did a video, a title, and I ran it for like three days, I spent like 50 pounds, and I didn't get any sales, any clients from it. And I was like, well, why didn't this work? And so I just assumed that Facebook ads don't work. I just assumed that running ads doesn't work because it didn't work. But the problem was I didn't actually have clear indicators of what I'm tracking, my, my KPIs, the key performance indicators, what I'm trying to get from this, and having a way of, um, of tweaking and changing things to try and get results, whether it's the targeting, the ad, the images, the video, to actually reach the right people. And so after really playing around with this and mastering this over the past few years, you know, I'm, out, I'm now able to spend you know, 100 to 300 pounds a day on these ads and actually get one, two, three, up to five time returns back, right? Because I'm measuring my success and doing more of the things that work and less of the things that doesn't. So what that means is you don't have to spend lots of time creating loads of content. You just have to find one or two winners and run with it. And the great thing about ads is when you find something that's working, you don't have to create more things. You can just leave it running and it will continue to work for you day and night, bringing in leads, bringing in um, people into your world, following, liking you, commenting on your things. Well, this is embarrassing. My camera died towards the end of this video. So I've taken down the whiteboard, re-recording this ending just to let you guys kind of wrap this one up today. So when it comes to paid traffic, there are different ways of getting clients through these sources. You've got Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, um, and there's all these other new ways of advertising now. So, you know, you can experiment with different ways of paid traffic. Still, one of the most popular platforms is Facebook um, and also Instagram because they're both in and part of the same platform now. Um, and so they reach millions and millions of users across the world. So those are the two ways to get clients on social media. You have the free, traffic, things like blogging, posting social content, um, and kind of the long game. And then you've got the pay traffic where you invest into the platforms and you kind of get those quicker results, quicker responses, um, and much more measurable and trackable. So now that you know the two ways of getting clients from social media, leave a comment below and let me know which one are you gonna do first? Are you gonna to lean towards free traffic sources or are you gonna go down the paid traffic route? And if you do have any other questions, 
about these ways to get clients on social media, also drop them in the comments below or head over to my free Facebook group, Personal Trainers Elite, to search it in the search bar or click the link in the description. Come over there um, and continue the conversation. And remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more weekly training videos like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.